Hi, my name is Laurel Gresher. I'm here today to sue my former roommate for unpaid rent alone and stolen property. He took advantage of my kindness. He turned out to be a con artist and a thief, and I'm here today to get that money back. Cue the defendant. My name is Nathan Klemp, and the only reason I'm here today is because I didn't want to date the plaintiff. She was prancing around the house naked, trying to throw herself at me. When I wouldn't take the bait is when she started getting crazy and came at me with outlandish charges and brought me here today on court to sue me. The plaintiff is suing Nathan Klemp, her former roommate for unpaid rent and unpaid loan and stolen property. Now, I have uh, read your papers, and what we have here are two people who clearly connected in the virtual world of video games, but in the real world, it seems that the games were just beginning. Now, the plaintiff claims that the defendant, uh, your former roommate, is a liar and a thief, and despite this, you admit that when he first moved in, you were attracted to him, you enjoyed being around him, and uh, if what the defendant, though, says is true, uh, he says that this is a gross understatement. He said that you were obsessed with him uh, and that after you moved in, she begged you uh, to be her boyfriend and she would prance around naked and be inappropriate with you. Now, that doesn't yep. sound like a mild attraction to me, Laurel, but I will let you uh, state your case. Uh, I'll agree with that, but I didn't prance around naked or anything. If there was ever to be a relationship, it would have been mutual. So, um, but how did like you, you said, uh, We met back in October after I moved back into the area at a video game store I used to work at. Mm -hmm. And we became good friends in January. We liked each other. He then um, had some drama in his life. He got, he lost the job because the store closed. He got his bank accounts frozen because of unpaid child support. Oh, that, that's, that's a lie, Your Honor. I never had any of my bank accounts froze for anything. I don't have unpaid child support. I pay my bills. I take care of my son. I do what needs to be done as a man. But did you end up moving in with the plaintiff? Yes, I did. And what was the arrangement when you moved in with the her? The arrangement when I moved in was to give her a little bit of money when I had money. And the arrangement was that I was going to fix things around the house for her and work for her father for things. What made you think that the two of you could get along before you moved in? Because we were getting along at the time until the texts started, until the emails started, the I'm lonely, I need you started, please call me if you don't, don't call me. Don't flatter yourself. Happen. I mean, I have the emails here as proof. I have the emails of her emailing on Let Facebook. Me ask you my this. Kid's Let mother. me ask you this, Nathan. How long did you know her before you moved in? Uh, about a month, All right. if that. So you move in within a month or about a month, and you don't have any arrangement as to what you're going to pay for rent. Was there an arrangement? Did you say to him you'll have yes, to pay? Yes, he made an offer of $11 a day since no, it was an No, $11? Why would $11 I offer $11 a day? $11 a day because it was an undetermined amount of time that he was going to be living with me. He had drama in his life. He needed a place to go. Why would you say sure to $11 a day as opposed to saying you stay in a month, you staying a week? Is this a month to month? Because it, it was supposed to be a couple weeks thing. A couple no, weeks no, no. turned into Did a long Did you have time. other roommates before the no. defendant? No, I moved into my place in uh, November, and I He finally, moved in when? Huh, February 1st. Okay. The thing is, there was no move-in. It was a nightly overstay on the couch until it started to get weird. Why? Started to get weird? <laughs> started to get weird, weird because I'm Why trying to sleep, her couch? and I got somebody groping me as I'm trying to sleep, trying to have sex with me naked, all drunk, and... Yeah, Your no, Honor. No, no. That's not my Your that's Honor. not my outlook of romance to me. That's not a relationship. Why would I want a relationship I don't, I don't know. with somebody would, that's trying to you, touch me in the middle of the night? You know? Why would you and that's why I tried to leave until she started to get all loony and weird, sending me these weird pictures and poems saying Ugh. saying, I need you, my father wants you to come work with him, and we're going on vacation to Chicago to see races. All this crazy stuff started happening, all these weird pictures and emails. What and kind of weird oh, pictures? Wow. It's weird. She sent me these poems. Right, I'm going to get to you in a minute. I'm just, okay. just yeah. weird, loony we're at, stuff. We're at square you know? one, and I can't get past this. What is this? Did you send this to him? What? Via email. That's my. That's a picture that I colored. That's the desktop. You picture. colored this? Yeah. It's just a piece of art that I did. Were you and high then, when you did this? That's no, what I'm I was not. wondering. How many pills she was on no. that day? No. 
I, don't I see a lot of eyeballs. Yeah, I don't know, like weird creatures crawling out of places. It kind of made me scared, actually. Then what are you doing sleeping on her couch for eleven dollars a day? That's why when I came home, some one day went to her house. She had given me keys, all sorts of garage codes and everything. And I came home one night when she was gone to pack my stuff and leave. She stood in the doorway That's and wouldn't not true. let that me. That is leave. absolutely not true. Hold on, I'm going to get to you. I want to get this from Laurel. That's fine. Now, Laurel, who came up with eleven dollars a day? He did. He he. Offered it and I accepted. Because but you didn't put anything in writing? Uh, no, unfortunately not. Okay. All right. D is this your first apartment? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I live and I work out on Oh, you're own. 21. Yes. How old are you? 26 years old. Do you have a job? Yes, I do. What do you do? I have a full-time job working for Sprint 60 hours a week. Good. All right. Why'd you move in with her? because I needed somewhere to go at the time until I could get my life on track and find a place for me and my son so to live. So then you were having financial issues? Yes, I was at the time. Okay, so it doesn't surprise me now that she would try to do you a favor because $11 a day is not a lot of money. No, and, and I you understand were having that, issues. but why would you want somebody no, in no, 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 don't ask the questions. Loser. Give me the facts. Don't you ask know? the questions. Now, did you loan him money? I did. Uh, total unpaid loan, $406. Did she loan you money? No. Nope. Don't lie to me. She gave me a few hundred dollars. Oh, she to gave go you money. What is she giving you money and for? And told me I never had to pay her back ever for a single thing because her daddy was babying her with money. Why are you taking money from this woman? I borrowed money from her that was. Oh! That I was give back. But that's just the thing. Is here's the facts. The okay. facts are now, she got that money back, and where's the proof that she chance. ever gave Hang it to on, me Nathan. in the first place? Why do you say that he stole your property? I have police supports here. What did you what did you report stolen? I reported um, three Xbox 360 controllers and two PlayStation 3 games. All right. Now, did you take her stuff? No. Nope. Why is she saying you did? Because she's loony in the head. How long would you say you stayed there? At the most, 60 days. 70 days at the most. All right. In and out. And, and I was you in say her that you worked off you worked off the $11 a day? I guess the $11 a day was worked off. When I went to her house, here was what she said. She goes, I have broken systems and this is broke and my father needs work. As long as you do what I say, you can stay here for $11 a day. When did you move in? February? February. You moved in in February and then you say, by May 14th, I'd had enough. So I started to pack. <laughs> Okay, so that's a good three and a half months. 30, 60, 90 is 105 days. She is suing you for 103 days. So you admit in your own papers the amount of time that you spent there, and you just admitted the $11, and you just admitted that you wanted to work this stuff off. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, my God. Dad, why are you here? Well, I had some statements prepared, but... Nate's done a pretty good job of digging a hole for himself, so. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, um, I got involved uh, when Nate was moving out, and Nate and Laurel were having uh, words, I guess, and I just wanted to intervene and make sure the transition was a safe transition. So I helped uh, Laurel get Nate's property Dad. moved out. Dad. As he threatened Dad. me on the phone. I'll on bet the he way. did. That's his door. Yeah. They'll be quiet. Yeah. Now, Dad, did you have a talk with Laurel? Yeah, I did. And, uh, Good. you know, I. That's I, enough said. Sit down. You're beautiful. You're smart. Move on. And stop with the video games. Do something serious. Thank now, you. the issue for the court is whether or not the defendant owes the plaintiff. Now, did you work it off in any way, shape, or form? Yeah, I How? sure did. By repairing broken things she had in her home, like which what? I have. Give me a few examples. A uh, PlayStation, a PSP. The reason why I repaired her them. stuff is so I could get her to let me stay there instead of having to pay. And that All right, was the so you agreement. think you worked off a few bucks. I'm going to take off, let's say, 30% of $1,133. The way I figure, it's $793.10. I'm not giving you money for the, wire, for the uh, wireless controllers. I'm not giving you money for the video games. Let this be a lesson to you, Laurel. At the end of the day, no man is worth your money, your games, your apartment, or anything else. You don't buy a guy's affection. All right? So, verdict for the plaintiff. So worth it.
let this case be a lesson to everybody that you can come to court thinking you're going to deny all of the allegations. The guy basically admitted everything. He lied initially and then came to find the truth. Staying away from crazy women, loony women is the top of it right there. And minding my own business and doing my own thing, taking care of my son and my bills and my situation. But he doesn't in the initial everything. He didn't do any of that. So let's hope that he does it. Yeah, let's, kid. yeah, yeah.